Namaste. A very good morning to everybody. Uh, today we are here to discuss regarding a common query uh, which I come across in my clinic as well as in the hospital. When the patient has been stented and their family is having query whether his stent is working or not, he is not in the follow up with the same doctor for a long time due to the corona and whether the stent is patent or it has been blocked. And they, they are not in any state to know which test they should undergo to define whether the stent is working or not. So working of stent and patency of stent, these are two things uh, which I will address in this uh, video. So let me uh, make uh, a differentiation regarding the clinical diagnosis of a disease progression and related to the stent. So how to assess? So the best way which we have been taught in our time is the clinical evaluation. Clinical evaluation means taking the history, correlating the complaints with the disease which we call as a uh, connecting the dots. If you are having breathlessness, we are going to do some tests we call as ECG and ECHO and then we can say yes you are having this one which we have been confirmed. This is called clinical diagnosis. And there is a second way of diagnosing which we, we call as an investigational based treatment or investigational based labeling directly. If the patient does not give any complaint, but we do some investigation and say that this is present. So that is nowadays becoming a very uh, common practice due to the shortage of time and that is one of the reason that uh, uh, a lot of investigation are also been prescribed. So first whether you are having block or not, whether it is needing further investigation has to be defined. So clinical way is you should assess the patient by his day to day activity and the common is if he is able to do his day to day activity without having chest pain, breathlessness or any new uh, fatigability complaints, it means the things are good or it has been well compensated. So if blocks are coming or blocks are progressing, it will give the symptoms and it will come in the clinical domain means the patient will have the complaints which was not there provided he is active after the stenting. So if a person is has underwent stenting and he is doing day to day routine exercise or routine walking or routine daily, uh, daily activities or daily chores and he is not getting any symptom, it indirectly speaks that his stent is working. But one test which will make a difference if, some, say if somebody want to know whether his stent is patent or not, it is only and only angiography. So if you really want to know even though you, you are very much imp, uh, convinced that you are not having complaint and you want an answer regarding your, your coronary stent which has been implanted or any previous block whether it has progressed or not, you can't be guided other than by the one test what we call as angiography. So certainly you can take an investigation like angiography or CT angio to confirm the severity as well as the patency of your previous stent. But it is not recommendable for all the patients. Unless you are not clinically having symptom, it has not to be conducted. And there comes the issue that or you can say the notion that we have to own the doctor, we have to discuss with the complaint and let him decide if your complaints are needing further evaluation or not. It is not that we should routinely go for an invasive procedure which is not going to make much difference if you are not having complaints. Angiography we are going to check for the coronaries so any blocks are there or not it has progressed or not. It has to be seen in the light of symptoms and that is the principle that uh, clinical cardiology or you can say the intervention cardiology still bank upon. So it is not needed that you should know that your stent is working or not. It is a complaint that should guide and certainly you should take uh, insight of a cardiologist who should guide you. I think with this information uh, we will uh, stop here. We will see you with next time with uh, some important interesting topic and if you are having any questions, queries and any topic kindly drop in the comment box. We will try to reach on that topic. Thank you so much.